Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this episode, we're gonna implement a little bit more functionality around our profile logic. So let's go ahead into our controller, profile controller. So just for your information, I still have this application running. I have it up putting the default profile we made here. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a new folder and let's call it profile logic. So this is where all our profile logic is gonna sit inside. I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna call this profile.cs. I'm gonna cut this profile. I'm gonna paste it into here. I'm gonna not forget to create a namespace. I'm gonna actually grab this namespace here. I'm gonna make a namespace of profile logic. And there we go. Cool. So let's fix the imports here. So control dot using profi .NET profile logic. So there is our import to this namespace. So just again to alleviate your confusion around namespaces if you have. Uh, the folder structure here is for us humans to interpret. Okay, namespace is for the computer to interpret. So the computer doesn't see these folders, the computer sees namespaces. So this is how you specify essentially your folder structure for the compiler and the program to understand. These folders are just purely for human readability and the navigation. Okay, so we have our profile here. Uh, what do we want to do with it? I want to be able to have some sort of a state to keep track of my profiles, all right? So I'm not gonna go ahead and implement a database even though it's very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and actually implement something else. It's called a singleton and that singleton is just gonna hold all the information about my profile, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna create a new class and I'm gonna call this profile admin admin all right so profile administrator is something essentially that's gonna administer profiles right so it's gonna um you, you can name this profile manager whatever you'd like i'm gonna call it profile administrator give it the same namespace and again i'm gonna create a class public class profile admin okay and then here i'm gonna have it have a private list of profiles. And I'm gonna call this property oh, profiles. And I'm not gonna set it to anything yet. I'm actually gonna give it a get set. And to get rid of these squiggly lines, control dot using generics. And uh, because profile is in the same namespace, it's essentially being like being in the same folder. So it doesn't need a reference in the using statement to this uh, profile class. Okay, so we have a private list of profiles inside our profile admin. What does that mean? That means if we make a prof admin, and you don't have to write this, I'm gonna delete this in a second. Um, Profile admin. Okay. And I will try to access the profiles list. It's not going to show up here. And if I make this public and I try to do that here again, there we go. We see it. So the reason I'm using private is I don't want anything outside of this class changing this list. And uh, by making it private, we basically take control over how this list gets uh, manipulated. Okay, so then I'm gonna type in CTOR, press tab, and this is gonna make me a constructor. I'm gonna rename it to profile admin. So it has to match the name of the class to be in order to be a constructor. And in here, I'm gonna take uh, the profiles and I'm gonna initialize them to a new list of profile like so. Okay, so our class gets created and at the, 
At this point it will be null, but once the constructor executes, this will be set to a new list and we will then be it will then not be a null, it will be a, an empty list. Okay, so this will allow us to add stuff to it and not get a null pointer exception. So let's create a few public methods. So public void and let's call this add profile. And in here I'm gonna put a, a profile profile. And in here all I want to do is I want to take profile and I want to add this profile. And profiles. Okay, cool. Like so. Cool. And then I want to create another one. But this one this time I want to return a list of profile. And I want to say get profiles and I just want to return profiles okay so we're adding a profile and we're getting a profile R rather sorry we're getting all profiles so let's go into our controller and actually let's not get go into our controller yet let's go into our startup.cs and this is where we're gonna add something to our dependency injection, right? So let's go into services. We're gonna call add, and we are going to add, sorry, not add, add singleton, right? And the type for the singleton is going to be profile admin, like so, control dot to import using our profile logic. Cool. So what did just happen here? What did we just do? So we took this um, our we took our profile admin, and we are essentially adding an instance of it to our dependency injection, and that instance is a singleton. So singleton means that there is only one single instance per program per application, right? And per uh, per any request. So if a request comes in at 2 p.m., this, inst this single instance will be used and we add a profile. And then two minutes later, another request comes in, this same profile is gonna be used and it's gonna retain the information. If we use a transient or a scoped, a transient or add scoped, these then this service will have a different lifetime and the dotnet core dependency injector takes care of uh, disposing of the object and creating a new one okay so i want this uh, profile admin to live on forever or until the program restarts so it's uh, not persistent a storage like uh, a database this is rather a per application instance. So as soon as the application shuts down or restarts, uh, and any information will be wiped. So this is all contained in memory. All right, so I've rambled, rambled on for long enough. How do we bring up this profile admin in our controller, or how do we use it? All right, so let's go into our profile controller. Same as in our profile admin, CTOR. Let's create a constructor. Let's call it profile controller. So the names match. And then here we want to type in profile admin. Profile admin. Okay. I'll actually delete this here. And uh, what happens here is that the dependency injection container will automatically create a profile admin the first time it needs to be created on pro on uh, application startup, and that and then it will pass this. Uh, profile admin into this controller and we will be reusing the same instance of the profile admin, right? So let's create a oh, let's create a global variable. So private profile admin profile admin like so. So when this is get gonna get when this controller is getting created, this is gonna get set. And now when we want to go to get profiles, I want to use the profile admin dot get profiles. Okay, 
and in here I want to return a list profile and uh, make sure we're using uh, system.collections.generics this is where the list class resides and right so we're gonna let return a list cool and then in here I want to say string I want to change this to a name and I will return to do, do, do a profile so I'm just gonna return the profile that I created I'm gonna grab this new profile here and I'm gonna assign it to a profile I'm gonna remove this ID and I am going to say name here and then I'm gonna return this profile but before I do return this profile what I want to do is I want to say profile admin add profile and I want to pass this profile into the profile admin okay nice so what do we have we create a profile admin that is going to be a single instance per our application and when we get profiles we're going to get a list of profiles and then we will be able to create a profile as well okay and this will essentially just stay the same for now uh, let's make sure we don't have any errors we don't okay so I'm gonna go ahead into just slash profiles here in my browser and see what I get okay so I have an empty array which is expected since we don't have any profiles next thing I'm gonna do is I have my uh, trusty old postman running and I'm gonna copy this URL I'm gonna post it in here I'm gonna press post right so making a post request in the browser is quite hard but like if not possible but basically I will say name and I'm gonna say Antonio okay so this uh, name variable is gonna get bound to here and uh, a new profile will be created so let me send this there we go we return a a new profile that was just created and if we refresh this page we can see the new profile here so let's type in bobber let's send that we can see that one here and a new uh, what's it called a new profile added to our here so you can see that if I even take this and let's say I will open up Mozilla and I'll type this in here the profile information is still retained here okay so you get an idea that this profile admin is existing across our application no matter who's accessing it this is just an instance all right so same as you would like when you tinker around in the console app you have this profile admin um, and it's just like running a console app at once but here we have a loop and we do we're doing this from a server so this will be it for this episode if you like it leave a like subscribe any questions please leave a comment and as always see you in the next episode